19 minutes to 8 and the weather has meant Brian in Melton has had a pretty quiet week apparently this week because it's been pretty wet and gloomy hasn't it this week but apparently he still managed to upset Rosemary ahead of his date at the Leyston Film Theatre well he's on the line to me right now good morning Brian morning Leslie it's Mark um, how do you know all this I have a little birdie whispered in my ear. Who the hell is telling you all this? (laughs) There's a spy in the camp, Brian. Well, there's someone who's who's, uh, sort of uh, spreading rumours, isn't there? (laughs) I don't know. Have you upset upset Rosemary? Oh, yes, I have a little bit. She ain't very happy, but that was... I meant well, I didn't mean upset the... What did you do? ...old girl, but yesterday morning that that was quite dry, weren't it? And yes. she's been on about a little bit of grass at the front. She wanted me to use my electric rake. Yes. And get the thatch out. That's the orange and one, isn't it? Huh? The orange one. As a fly one, that's yes. uh, good quality. Yes. And uh, she said to me, she say, and that's marvellous, uh, Leslie, how that works, because that just, that, that, that claw, and, you know, and pull all the old thatch and moss out. Lovely. And so she said, I'll get you to do that one day soon. Well, she went down to get some stuff. And I thought, I don't know, the weather don't look too bad today. I'll get out there and get a start. And I thought, I had it too low. And that, I was sort of, I pulled her, I pulled her grass to bits. That oh, dear. Awful. Oh, dear. And she come back, you see, and she what the hell are you done here? And I proudly say, yeah, I said, have I got uh, ten bags here, rubbish, at your lawn? She say, she say, you've got most of the ruddy lawn in there. <laughs> So I ain't, I ain't very popular with that, but I, I have said to her that I will treat her to a bit of grub when we're out on Sunday before we go to Lacen Cinema to see My, Michael Ball. Michael Bublé, isn't it? So or Michael no, Ball? No, Michael Ball. Michael Ball. He was he was in... Um, he was on the one show the other night. Huh? He was, he was on the one show the other night, Michael Ball. No, I didn't see him on there. He was, in, he was on something or other. The other, oh, I tell you what, he was on. He was on um, that, that squid on Saturday night. Um, uh, Britain's Got Talent. Oh, was he? Okay, he was on there. He was on there because I say the rules. Me, I say we're seeing him next Sunday. Look, so we, we are. I'm treating her to a little bit of grub before we go there as a, as a way of saying. Oh, you say she gets some seed. I'll put some seed down yeah. and sort of sort it out for her. Yeah, that'll be lovely. So, so I, I is, didn't mean upset, you know. I, no, I was no. trying to do my bit. Yeah, I know. It happens, Brian. Uh, I'll this, learn me less now. I can't this, bother another time. Is this a date on Sunday? <sighs> no, that's not a date. Will you stop saying that? Because people, well, people get ask the wrong me. idea. People ask me. They say, are you dating Rosie? I am not dating Rosie. Anyway, dating is what youngsters do, don't they? I mean, grown-ups... You know, when you're my age and Rosemary's age, you're caught and aren't you? We aren't caught and either before you start. We aren't dating, we aren't caught and we aren't getting cosy. We aren't doing nothing. We're just going out, have a bit of grub and see Michael Ball at the Licensed Cinema. Lovely, OK. Of course, you'll get me in trouble, you will. Well, I only ask what people ask me to ask you. Cool. Um, you know, I get stopped all the while saying, you know, how are they getting on? And I said, well, I'm telling them they're on ruddy business. has nothing to do with them, is it? If someone said to me while well, I was down the Milton Fish Bar, and they have in the past, and I said, you mind your own ruddy business. has nothing to do with you. <laughs> Keep your snout out. Tell them. Now, look, I've had a message through from Sue in the United uh, States of America. Um, she listens, and she wants to send you her best regards. Now, I understand you've been watching a little bit of the uh, the election over there this week. Well, all we've done this week, because there's been so muggy in it, boy. It has, yes. I mean, every day I look out and I, the water butts are full, and they're starting to, you know, overflow. And I, I sort of, all we've done is sort of sit, and I've been right like, bored, Leslie. I've been sitting it's about Mark. here. You can only do so much cleaning. Mother, of course, is, you know, I've been looking after Mother and doing the cooking and whatever. Is she better but, now? Huh? Is she better now? She had an infection, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's all right Good. now, boy. Yeah, she, yeah, yes. she had a water infection. Yeah. Did I tell you about that? Yeah, she's yeah. not calling you Max Bygraves anymore. That's right. She thought I was Max Bygraves one day, and there were squirrels in the cupboard. Yeah. She says squirrels in the cupboard, Brian. It was a daft. Anyway, um, what do you say? Uh, American television, Mr. Trump. No, no, we're sat, we're sitting here watching this old squit on the daytime. I heard you talking to that woman on there about it, and I, I never seen anything like it. But... We watch the news, and do you know what? What? I wish I had a pound for every time the virus has been mentioned. Because 
All they do is talk about it. Every program is all right. And then when the news come on, I sit there and I'm looking at looking at old old Trump over there. And I think to myself, thank Christ we aren't there. I know we've got a load of Muppets here. But the Christ, thank Christ we aren't over there. Because what the hell is that bloke on about, Leslie? He's, he's, he was up on the... Up on the stage, yes, and he was throwing these um, masks out because no bugger was wearing them, and they were they were crammed in there like sardines, weren't they? Did you see it? I did, and he was offering to kiss people as well, wasn't he? He, he say, he say to them, he say, "I'll kiss you all." He say, "I'll, ki- I'll kiss, kiss the um, the men." He said, "I'll kiss the beautiful women." Well, what's that mean? Is he going to slap the ugly ones in? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell can he say that in this day and age? My father heard that he say to me, every woman is beautiful, Brian, he say. You know, some of you want to turn them round and look at the backside, but he say they are all, or they are all beautiful inside there. And when he said that, I say to mother, did you hear that? But she didn't hear it. He say, he's going to give them all a big fat kiss. Do you see that? I did. I did. Who the hell is yes. he going to... All he'll do is go and catch that old bug again, won't he? Well, he reckons he's immune now. Well, who is he then, Jesus? Because that <laughs> strike me that the bloke can walk on water. And how the hell people can listen to the twaddle and the squit that he come out with... He's very popular over the there. Boot for that. Huh? He's very popular. He ain't popular at all, is he? He is. He I reckon they hypnotise them all. Before they go in there... I reckon they're all hypnotised, or, or are they? Are they these people that they put on the TV in the audience? Are they just an audience? What rent a crowd? An audience? Huh? <laughs> are they just an audience? You know, are they just they sit there and someone tell them to clap and they clap and you don't know, do you? No, I, you I, don't I know. know he he is. does have his fans, though, Brian. He has. His, he's had lots of fans. You know, they're all walking around with their t-shirts on and their flags, making America great again. Yeah, he's a prat. I don't care what you say. You look when he come out with things. I'm going to kiss you all. You can't say I'm that about come. the president of the United States. I can. Well, he ain't living next door to me. I can say what I bloody well like. He he come up. He, he just stand there and he wave his hands like he's bringing in a plane, don't he? <laughs> huh? That's like he's working at Bent Waters and he's saying, "Come on, come on in number four. In you come." And he's just, he, he get to an old cap on, don't he? What's, what's wrong with a proper hat? <laughs> what's that other one? That other one there. Joe Biden. With him? Joe Biden. That's right. Well, yeah. if you ask me, he looked like he's knocking death's door. Because you look <laughs> at him, don't you? You look at him and you think, Christ, if, if they vote you in, how long are you going to be there for? <laughs> I swear Prince Philip looked better than him. <laughs> He's, he's apparently very fit and healthy. I said to mother the other day, I said, I said to mother, I said, have you seen Prince Philip lately? And she said, no. <laughs> and I say, well, I ain't Keep seen it together, him Brian. Do you reckon he's about? Prince Philip, yeah, he's about. Yeah, yeah, he's around, yeah. Yeah. Because I see she was on there. Sorry, I shouldn't call her that. Her Majesty. Yes. She's been she out was, without a mask. She was on there yesterday with him, and she looked lovely, didn't she? Yes, she did, yes. You know, that woman yeah. does... does she, now, do you see, that's what it's all about. That's where old Trumpy need to come over here and spend some time learning off the, the Queen how to stand and how to present himself. She don't she don't come out yesterday waving her hands about, does she? No, and she and didn't have as much makeup on all, either. I'm going to kiss all the, all the beautiful men <laughs> and all the, all the babies, does she? Maybe she'll she surprise you one day and do that. She's got dignity, Lacey. Oh, she's got dignity. She's standing there. Brian, she, she's a great British institution. Brian, before hello? you go, before you hello, before you go, can you wish Jan in Layston a, ha- a very happy birthday today? Uh, Jan in Layston. Yes. Uh, happy birthday. How, how old is she? She's seventy-five today. Is she? Yeah. She's not going on then. <laughs> happy birthday to Jan. She's also a big fan of doctors like me, um, which. Oh. Which um, which TV daytime programme would you vote for to get a BAFTA? None of them. They all want to put them on a book and send them abroad. Because when you sit there... I mean, that woman on there was talking about that old judge thing. Yeah, Judge Rinder. He don't let them talk. All he do is keep interrupting them, tell them to shut up. That's my court, that's my court. Well, if that's, if that's that ruddy... Court, let let uh, let him do the show on his own. If it weren't for the people standing in front of him for him to uh, come up with his old squit, then he wouldn't have a show, would he? And what's the other thing they put on there after that, where they're running round a shop 
and they get the stuff off the with shelf. Rylan, you yes. That? Supermarket sweep with Rylan. What a load of old crap. I have never <laughs> seen anything. And that bloke who's on that programme, he he prants about there with a with a, a, um, a, a trolley. Yes. And I think I sit there and I think to myself, surely they don't pay people to do this, do they? I think they probably do. <laughs> Brian, we're going to have to go, but thank you very much for your assessment this morning of the US election and also which daytime TV programme shouldn't get a BAFTA.